In this video, we will see how to access the preview environment in Business Central. So every year, Microsoft will come up with two major releases for Business Central. That is one during April and another one during October. So anyhow, before releasing the complete um, updates, so every uh, April, every April, every uh, March, it will release a preview update okay so that is a preview like every users can go and preview and see whether it is working fine so this is the exact um website where you can see what are all the releases which are happening so here you can see april 2023 and september 2023 so uh, two uh, releases will be there okay and there might be some delivery that is the delivery timelines may change in project uh, projected functionality may not be released but anyhow they will be releasing it every twice every year so here you can see what are all the releases which are happening so here you can see that there is a public preview and general availability public preview in the sense we can just go ahead and preview see how it is working it's just a preview okay and the general availability is which will be available for everyone who are is using the environment okay there is a business central so we have various so here you can see what are all the application wise a preview which are available so here you can see in march 2023 what are all the previews which are available to us okay so in order to access this we cannot uh, simply go ahead and look into the production environment we have to enable the preview environment okay i'm going to show you how to enable the preview environment so this is our business central uh, main page that is role center page so here you can go to the settings and if you click on this admin center so it will take you to the admin center page okay so usually uh, it will allow you one production and uh, uh, three sandbox uh, enable so here you can see you have an option called new okay click here new in order to create a new environment that is the preview environment okay so even the preview has its own version so in the environment you can see what is the application family type state country and current version so every release will have its own version number in order to uh, view that version so you should be uh, you should uh, see what is the version name that is a, what is a version number okay so usually uh, business central will uh, always release this with the name wave okay so here you can see on the right side you have a create environment okay so i'm going to create an environment preview um okay um 2023 um wave one okay i just i'm just going to give wave one and you should have only one production environment and you can have multiple sandbox environment give sandbox and in country we can choose us because always us will have the immediate release so let us select this us and then just scroll down in the version you can see you have two versions right 21 is what the current version which is released on 2022 september might be it might be the september or october so this is next one is what preview that is 22.0 is the preview here so click that preview version and then click create okay it will show you an uh, alert message there is a dialog box so preview version are intended only to testing and review so it is only for the testing and review the environment cannot be updated to the production version it must remain in preview until it is deleted okay so it is just to preview you can just see and test whether it is working fine or not okay you cannot um, make that happen into your production environment because microsoft will release the general availability during the uh, month and date which is specified here month and year so by april you can see all these general availability so now it is only for previewing it so now if you go and see you have an option called preview wave uh, that is preview 2023 wave one we can we have created this just select this and you can see the uh, url for this okay so, so it is creating okay here you can see that it is creating okay it is creating the environment so we can wait until it is created okay whereas if you see the previous environments which might be already created so you can directly access those environment without waiting so here you can see, see it is active okay 
so now it is already created uh, but here it is preparing you can see the status here it is preparing once it is uh, been active you can just launch the page and see what are all the changes would ha which happen what are the uh, what are all the general options which are available for preview okay so this is the page where you can find it okay so what are the uh, options what are all the updates which are happened and this will happen within this particular uh, particular month so here you can see what is the overview of this adapt faster with the microsoft power platform what are all the things which they have planned okay get started with more simple power automate templates so we can expect more uh, power automate templates to come up support dynamic environment and company and uh, power platform connector so we have various uh, connectors in power platform use power automate to post adaptive card or link so which, which is now available for public preview so you can go and explore that and if you click on any one of these things okay so you can see what is that specifically and what how they are planning to implement it and if you scroll down you can see what is the application level changes they are going to make so this application level you can see it in your business center role page okay use different general ledger account for payable receivables add more columns to page for better insight avoid document number errors catalog items you so you have they have they are planning for major updates here and country and regional so more countries they have added along with the code so what are the country and regional which they are planning to add development wise environment also they are doing okay provide title and the custom uh, actions to dialogues improved compiler resource handling and faster uh, uh, code analysis al go for github um, extension to fail pre upgrade validations attach al debugger to add active sessions so all these things which may happen governance and administration so here you can see various options under governments governance and uh, administration this is for legislation and this is for productive with microsoft 365 reporting and analysis data analysis so this is already which is oh so okay fine so this is public preview is available only during april 2023 and general availability is yet to announce so here you can see service and platform okay so what are all the changes which they are planning to release and user experiences how the user experience would be okay so drag and drop files onto the uh, onto the file dialog so here you can see that it is already there in the public preview and improved alignment of headers in status st uh, in a statistics page so it's already there uh, for the public review in fib 20 uh, fib 1 2023 now let us go back and see whether it is active it's preparing till it's preparing so the um, environment has to be uh, uh, ready in order to access it okay so you can wait until that so once it is changed to active you can access this environment by clicking here and clicking on this url you can definitely work on it so we will see more changes whatever is happening i'll just let you know what is the changes which you can see directly in your preview environment thank you take care bye, -bye.